The population here is only 900, but people had come from 50 miles away just for the 15-minute whistle stop. And they have long memories in this village. One lady had brought her program from the 1954 royal visit, the first time the Queen came to Tasmania. With the princess, the children continued their policy of physical contact, which seems to please both parties. In the village of Ross, which looks as Scottish as it sounds, the population of 200 met the couple at the corner known as Damnation and Salvation, because the old jail and the church stand facing one another. Things were so relaxed that a walkabout became brought their sheep to the meeting, which is fair since they outnumber the people by 20 to 1 around here. Is this yours? I really like to feel its quality. <laughs> The biggest crowds of the day were in Launceston, which, what else, is on the river Tamar, and is Tasmania's second city. The welcome here was particularly fervent, bearing out the contention that Tasmania is the most royalist state in Australia. And at the Australian Maritime College, the day ended with a firm splash, as the students simulated a May Day rescue out into life rafts. leaping into the pool. It was realistic, down to the Anthony Carthew News at 10 in Tasmania.